We begin by defining a function called quicksort that takes a list as an argument. Inside the function, we first check if the length of the given list is less than or equal to 1. If true, we return the list as it is already sorted. Next, we select the last element of the list as pivot. The pivot helps in dividing the list into two parts. Elements smaller than or equal to the pivot go to the left and elements greater than the pivot go to the right. We create two empty lists, left and right, to store the elements accordingly. Using a for loop, we iterate through all elements except the pivot. If an element is less than or equal to the pivot, it is added to the left list. Otherwise, it is added to the right list. We then recursively call quicksort function on both the left and right list and concatenate the results with the pivot in between. This step ensures that all elements are sorted correctly. After defining the function, we create a list that contains the number. We call quicksort function on the given list and store the sorted result in sorted array. Finally, we print the sorted list. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.